Hey. Hi guys. Okay, thank you all very much for coming today. And before starting, I would like to introduce myself. So for two, those who doesn't know about me, I'm Boris Pavlovich. I'm currently PTL of Rally and OS Profiler Initiatives. So I'm trying to lead in this direction and that is what I'm working on in Mirantes. And this is uh, my friend, Ronan, and could you introduce yourself? Yeah, uh, good afternoon, folks. Uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, my name is Rohan Kanadi. I work for Red Hat, and I actively contribute to the Rally project. I am a core reviewer for the Rally project. Uh, in today's presentation, we are going to discuss about uh, how to evaluate Rally, how to evaluate vendors and drivers using Rally and OS Profiler, and how to make uh, meaning out of that data. Uh, so moving on, firstly, uh, we will talk about why we are here and uh, what exactly are OpenStack drivers and how to evaluate them, why is it hard to ev evaluate them. Secondly, we will uh, do a small overview of Rally and OS Profiler and how to evaluate your vendor uh, drivers using Rally and OS Profiler. And finally, we'll be uh, uh, doing a bit, uh, we'll be presenting our kilo cycle goals for Rally and OS Profiler. Yeah. So OpenStack, uh, as we all know, it's a really, really huge, complex ecosystem. Uh, nobody knows how it works. There's big services. There's lots of projects and lots of services. Uh, even I don't know how it works. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, but, so going by the numbers, uh, OpenStack has experienced significant code growth, uh, majority of which has been uh, the driver, majority has been the driver code, uh, which is a really scary part because your driver code is increasing every cycle. And uh, just to back it up, uh, next, yeah. So going by uh, latest Stackalytic reports, uh, the Juno cycle has 100 plus uh, vendors, 100 plus drivers in tree. Uh, there's 23 new vendors, vendor drivers coming in the Juno cycle, and already seven new drivers have been planned for the Kilo cycle. Uh, there's, there's too many choices. And, uh, okay. on. and uh, if you take a look uh, from other side, all projects has the quite similar structure. So there is a REST API that is facing by user that is sending HTTP requests. And I'll just use Cinder as a basic project because it's quite, I don't know, common and simple for understanding. And we have Cinder API, we have Cinder scheduler, we have API of uh, Cinder manager. So this service is working actually on node that presents our resources like volumes and so on. And inside every project, inside every manager, we have a bunch of drivers that can be used so we can use LVM drivers, CEP, or other drivers that are making actually calls to this operation system or some other uh, driver backend. And there is a Cinder database. So when we are talking about, could you, oh no. <laughs> and when we are talking about uh, validating uh, how exactly drivers works, we have a lot of issues because there is a lot of overhead in Cinder API, Cinder scheduler, uh, IMQP uh, provider that we are using, DB, and issues can be in different places, and we cannot be sure that it's not the deployment issue, it's the issue of specific driver. And that is goal of uh, our presentation, first of all, to understand how they work, so we'll have different deployments and just run some load and get some data. Or, and we can measure only API calls and time that is required to get these uh, in active state resources. And uh, the second thing is we will show how to ensure that it's not deployment issue, that it's exactly call of driver. And let's move to the next slide. So it's, uh, so we need to get familiar with Rally. And Rally project is actually if we are thinking from user facing side, it's quite simple too. You have just a couple of commands 
to register and rally your deployment and present credentials of it, and to actually run a benchmark task that will generate load, collect all data, and present reports. So it's really simple, and I will show you uh, that in the next slide. So, oh yeah, to get ready, you sh should just clone it from Stackforge. To install it, just one command install from, there is automated installation script, and then you should source your OpenRC file of your cloud, so with credentials, and run just one common rally deployment create that will actually present this deployment for uh, rally. And next command will run s from samples, just uh, create and delete volume benchmark that creates and deletes volumes from different users. And the last one command will build a, just a pretty HTML report with results that can we take a look at the next slide. So actually we can get a lot of interesting information from this graph is uh, how uh, different are uh, duration that is required from creating volume and deleting volume. And as well we can get distribution and of operation. So, uh, okay, but, but what to do this with all this stuff? Let's try just to compare LVM and Ceph. It's really development environment, so it's on laptop done, and it's dev stack. So I cannot say that these are real numbers, but what we can see, see is that Ceph performs much better. So, for example, attaching volume to the uh, instance takes uh, two times more uh, to LVM, and deleting volume takes uh, 12 times more. So, and uh, why it happens, uh, does anybody know from auditory? No? Okay, I'll say. So, uh, when we are deleting uh, LVM volume, Cinder is putting zeros to all bytes of this volume before deleting it. So this operation takes a lot of time when volumes are slow and big. So, uh, but to understand that this is the root reason why it's slow, we need a profiler, OpenStack profiler, which is OS profiler library. And uh, so basically it, uh, it is based on Ciliometer and uh, IMQP. So from different services, we are on request sending a lot of messages for every point in the trace tree. We are sending two messages when it started and when it stopped it, uh, with some other metadata that is specific for different points, like if it is REST call and we are processing VGI middleware, uh, then we are sending information about what was URL and other data. And if it is RPC call, it's interesting what, I what was in message. And if it is, for example, DB call, then it is interesting what SQL request was. And so uh, doing this, we are sending from Nova API, Nova Schedule, Nova Compute, or Cinder API, Cinder Scandal, Cinder Volume, a lot of messages with profiling information to Ciliometer. Every trace message contains uh, three trace IDs, so one trace ID is r related to request, and uh, it's dissimilar for all messages related to this request. This allows us to fetch all messages related to one request. The second is parent ID, so the trace point that was before, and a base ID is the ID of uh, current point. And in info, we can put at least name, it's uh, the type of the uh, point is VGI, RPC, REST, and uh, project information, it can be Nova, Cinder, Glance, other. Every project has services, so we are putting as well name of service, so it's compute, volume, uh, Nova scheduler, Cinder scheduler, and uh, when uh, it was started or when it was finished, so. And any metadata that can contains this URLs and other stuff. So let's move to next. And uh, working with OS Profiler with, uh, when it is merged to upstream, not in all projects it is merged, but in Cinder it is merged. 
uh, you can just add uh, this uh, uh, extra argument minus minus profile with secret key and uh, after running any commands like delete some volume you'll get uh, this message with trace ID and how to display this trace information in HTML file. And if we run this command, we'll get a file with uh, profile HTML. And if we open this file in browser, we'll get full trace. And on the left side, you uh, see the nested level. So one, two, three, four. And this is quite huge uh, trace ID. So in case of presentation, I have to crop it. Uh, and But we already see here that there is a uh, driver cinder call, and it takes almost all time of request, 10 seconds. And if we click on it, we'll get next uh, thing, that it was the cinder volume drivers LVM, LVM is driver delete volume method. So we know that this method in code exactly takes all this time. And if we would like to investigate what part of this call takes, we can just add more trace points in code and rerun this command and we'll get more interesting information. So uh, let's just go to the results. And so uh, we made a lot of work around Rally and we it's already in a lot of project gates. So on every patch, for example, in Cinder, Glance, uh, Keystone, and other projects, and Neutron. Uh, we are running special Rally benchmarks, and we are able to benchmark on every patch, like we are running Tempest. And uh, in case of OS Profiler, it's already in uh, Cinder, uh, uh, Cinder, Glance, Hit, and there are patches for uh, Keystone and Neutrona, but they are waiting new cycle and uh, so these are quite separator separate initiatives and what we are going to do now is to combine them so first of all there uh, we would like to integrate rally and OS profiler together so you'll be able to make a lot and trace in the same time and compare results without lot and with lot so two traces, one without load, one with load, and do this in one simple action with Rally, like Rally task start and this benchmark task. So the uh, so we would like to get as well OS Profiler in all, in all projects, and I hope it will happen. And uh, we would like really to support comparing results of Rally on OS Profiler. So I mean, you can compare by your eyes but it's not automated and when something is not automated it's not so useful it, as it can be in the case if, if it is automated and as well simplify usage of OS profiler with DevStack so when you're running DevStack you have to specify a lot of different and strange and uh, awful arguments in local RC to run it with OS profiler and we would like to have something like we have debug, verbose, and we would like to have, for example, profiling enabled. So, uh, and it will be, please, <laughs> okay, profiling in OpenStack gates. So, as we have rally jobs for all pro for a lot of projects, we can have and have profiling with rally. Then we have do this in gates. So you will get not only performance results of API performance, but trace as well. So this will actually help a lot developers to understand does their change fix exactly the problem and issue that they are fixing and it's not just the such deployment and such stuff. Okay, so, and yeah, I would like to concur the world twice. So that is all <laughs> quite short. So any questions? Uh, we would be like we would like to answer on them if you have. Oh yeah, sure. I don't hear. In Rally, 
So uh, we have a bunch of tests for different uh, projects like uh, Nova, Cinder, Glance. Uh, for Nova is quite well covered, so you can do almost all operations with VMs. And actually, the goal of Rally is not only to have a huge repository of benchmarks, but make it simple to write. So for writing, for example, booting, deleting VM, you need just a few lines of code. We are working with Python clients, and it's really simple framework to do such operations. So you are just specifying some set of operations from some user in Python that just takes a few lines of code, and then you can use any load generator and different uh, environments, like different amount of tenants, users, and generate load with it. So, but there is already a lot of benchmarks. For, okay, sure. So, benchmarking horizon with Rally. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that, that's a hard question. So, uh, um, so actually it's hard to benchmark especially if it has ajax and it has ajax if it is just plain request some to horizon then probably it's not hard to do it with uh, doing using some kind of url lib or something else request lib and you can just do different requests parse uh, answers and understand is it everything okay and do some set of actions So that can be done simply. But if there is a JAX and other stuff that works inside browser, it can be quite tricky to get all this data together. Sure. So, uh, so okay. Could you repeat your experiment? Yes. <laughs> sure. Yeah, sure, you can. But uh, as I said before, different deployments has different performance and has different running services, and the results can be quite different. But overall, if you have, for example, DevStack installation and you have fix, and you are running before fix, you are running after fix, you'll get quite good results if it fixed actually this issue. That's why it was done actually, to repeat experiments, simple. Okay? So I missed the beginning of the question, so. <laughs> so I'm afraid about lawyers. So I'm not sure that I'm going to publish uh, any results, but I will happy to actually have a repository of such results. And actually we are doing this and we have some kind of user stories. And if you have any results that you are a lot to share, it will be nice to get there. Ah, so criteria about what is the baseline for drivers to be inside core projects or uh, I think that I should discuss this with PTLs of projects because I'm not PTL of Cinder and Nova and all other projects. So <laughs> not enough big dictator <laughs> to do this. So, okay, sure. So, 
So, yeah, sure. So having a long task with a lot of benchmarks, golden benchmarks that you can run and uh, ensure that your system performs well or and compare them. It's not only load generation. I mean, you are getting a lot of data, and we are trying to get as much as possible and build on top of it logic. So, I mean, it's very huge work to make standardized benchmarks for all OpenStack and all everything. And for this huge work, we have to have everything ready, like load generation, processing results, storing results, all benchmarks, standardization, typical task with the set of benchmarks that we should run, uh, a lot of expertise related to what performance of uh, 10 nodes cloud should be, what performance on 20 nodes clouds, what performance on 100 nodes. And when we get all these together, then we will have what you are saying. But it's huge work. It just work, and we are working. Yeah, but we are trying to do this, but it takes a lot of time. Okay, any other questions? Okay, seems like no more questions. Okay. So, no questions. Okay, thank you for coming. I hope thank it you. was interesting. Thank you.